So you should always, in every in every event, somebody tells you, this is what I want, this is the kind of event I'm doing. You should always create a, create a playlist. That, that go, it goes a long way. It goes a long way. If you're a new beginner DJ, you need new tips, you want to hear the inspiration from the DJs who started out new, that are taking their DJing game to the next level, well, you got to check out WeCreateTheVibes.com. You should always make a playlist for every event. <sighs> Major, yeah. major key, <laughs> major, major key. key. <laughs> Every event requires a different playlist. If somebody tells you, oh, I'm having a cocktail event. I mean, you can't go to a cocktail event and be playing, uh, play maybe like Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. a cocktail event. So you should always, in every, in every event, somebody tells you, this is what I want. This is the kind of event. I'm doing. You should always create a create a playlist. That that go it goes a long way. It goes a long way. Mm, absolutely, man. Multi talented DJ and producer. Give me some tips for DJs, especially beginner DJs who want to get into production. They want to learn. They want to elevate their their DJ game. They feeling that you know, and I do feel that production will help you elevate in DJing. So give us some tips, man. Yeah. So DJing and producing is different. It's two different things. So DJing is you dealing with the made sound, the completed, the finished product of the producer. That is DJing. You are make, you are making you are making do with what the producer is giving to you. Now production is you creating different vibes for melodies. So like, if you want to be a very good DJ, first thing you should do is learn how to mix two records together. Mm. Number one, number two, you should know the tempo, the beat per minute, BPM of the music you're dealing with. Sound is one thing you should be familiar with. If you know that this music goes with this melody, you should know quite all right that it wouldn't fit in with an up-tempo kind of music. Listening to a music like... So... Listening to this kind of music, you should know quite all right the kind of music that can go with it. Right. That can help you even when you go out to DJ without your headphones. So... First, you should know how to mix two records together to start with. Don't even try to do anything about scratching or beat juggling. First, know how to do the mixing. Number two, know how to adjust your pitch. Pitch blending. Very, very key. Then with those two, every other thing will fall in place. The same thing with production. I said, I said, I said, somebody who wants to, as somebody who wants to start producing. First of all, you should know reading. You should know about tones. Like, this is the kind of tone that can fit in. Number three, you should know about kicks. This beat I'm trying to make, I don't want the kick to be too heavy. I want it too light. I don't want it to be too harsh. I want it so your ear is working for you as a producer. Mm. At the same time, your ear is working for you as a DJ. But you know, these days we have the laptop already. By the time you're looking at the wave already, you're knowing quite all right, like, okay, this wave is not good. This wave is good. This wave can mix with this one fine. But in production, it, it's a lot. You should be able to gather your tones, like look for where you can buy, you know, good tones, or probably look for where you can get like, you know, pick up some tools that can really help you to start off with. Then, you know, everything falls in place. <laughs> 